definitive, like say, there's no foreclosures. You understand that foreclosures never went away. It's not front page news. Look at the history of what we went through as a country. When you look at 2008, when it all began, nine and 10 were the worst years ever for our industry and for consumers and homeowners. That is when we had the most foreclosures. Situation started improving. Market started getting better. It no longer was front page news. Then we hit COVID 2020 and foreclosures stopped. Why? The government said you can't foreclose. There are moratoriums in every single state. So 20, 2020 and 2021, the numbers were way down. But look at 2022, 115% increase over the year before. Now here's the deal. I have never once used the word crash in any of my marketing efforts. I'm not predicting a crash. I'm not predicting that we're gonna get us back, back to 2008, nine and 10 numbers. I don't know, but I'm not seeing that. But we don't have to. We just have to get back to pre-pandemic numbers and there's opportunity about. And, and one more thing, if you don't mind, that I wanna add, guys. I bet you, and I don't know the answer to this, but I bet you most people joined up for the CDP in these years, 2009 and 2010, guys. The, re the reality is, we don't want you guys to get in now. We want, don't want you to get in when it's at the peak, we want you to get in before. Because those people that are leading the way before it starts are gonna be the people that can really capitalize. If not, just capitalize. If it stays small, you can still capitalize it, and if it gets bigger, you guys are gonna be the ones that are most prepared. Now, do you know that the foreclosures have been going up for 21 consecutive months? Now, it'd be easy to make all this stuff up, but this is actual facts, adam.com. Go to adamdata.com and you get to see, that's where I get all my stats. So every single month, for 21 consecutive months, they've been going up next. Now, I came up with this meme because this is what people tell me all the time. But Tony, there's so much equity. Why do we even need you? And then I start saying, do you know that having equity and being able to make your mortgage payments are two separate issues? Right? Yeah. So hold on to that thought because we're gonna see this meme again later. Next, look at the top states. For 2022, California led the way. Who's from California? Okay, and then we got Texas. Great state of Texas here. My home state, Florida, number three, Illinois, Ohio. This looks like a replay of 2008. Yeah. So these were foreclosure starts and this is just mild. This is volume. Volume. Absolutely. Now, next one, foreclosure rates. Number one, Illinois, New Jersey, Delaware, Ohio. You know Ohio, where are people from Ohio? You know that for 2022, the top 10 zip codes for foreclosures, eight were in Ohio, but there's no foreclosures. Followed by the rest you see there. Now you see January 2023, California, Texas, Florida, New York, Illinois. Just foreclosures, folks. And this is just the tip of the iceberg on what's coming. Next. Now, this is hard to read from a distance, so I hope you. Top 10 counties in January, you have Cook County, Illinois, LA, California, Harris County, Texas, Maricopa, Broward County, Riverside County. These are the areas that are leading. You need to pull stats. You need to go back into your MLS. You need to go into all that and start pulling up the stats. There's people out there losing their homes right now that you could be out there knocking on doors and talking to them, phone calls and everything, and helping them look for a solution. Next. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate it. Guys, so as you can